found yourself in a difficult conversation, the other person started to cry, and you've wondered, what should I do? Then you're gonna love today's top tip. Something I get asked all the time is what to do if the other person cries. Now, someone might cry in a difficult conversation for a range of reasons. The message is upsetting. Perhaps it's a defense mechanism that they've learned and it helps cut the conversation short in their experience. Or most commonly, perhaps, it's actually the fact that something's been brought to the fore and there is the true realization that it needs to be tackled. Well, what, what do you do when this happens? Well, my top tip is this, let them cry. I don't say this to be cruel to the other person and I know how awkward it can feel. However, it's important to let them have that moment, that space where actually it's all right. So let them cry, pass them a box of tissues, just hold the silence and the space and when they're ready, they'll start to talk again. I hope you never have to give it a go, but if you do and you wanna let me know, then I'm always happy to hear how you've got on and how I hope these tips are helping you. As always, if you've got a question you'd like me to answer to help you have more successful, difficult conversations, then pop along to the website and ask Sonia. And if you'd like to get these tips directly into your inbox every week, again, you can sign up at www.ukheadsup.com forward slash heads up TV.